industry is rebounding. I mean, is it a cyclical recovery and does it have legs? In China? Yes. Yeah, I mean, when you look at the success of uh, Furious 8, I think did about $350 million. And what's interesting is that that Jackie Chan's Kung Fu Yoga, uh, Journey to the West, and these are movies that did $250 million U.S. and China alone. And you go on down. It's doing really, really well. Um, you know, it's interesting. We have a a Jackie Chan film coming out in September. With Pierce Brosnan, I think. With Pierce Brosnan. And, Foreigners. Uh, it's called The Foreigner. Yeah. It's uh, done in conjunction with Sparkle Roll and my partners at Hawaii Brothers. Um, and look, we're, we're, we're feeling like that thing could do incredible business here. So uh, if it works here and elsewhere, we're in good shape. How's your model really working when the big studios in Hollywood are going for the big blockbusters? Sure. Even China is as well with the Great Wall and big, big budgets. You go for the sweet spot in between, the 20 to $40 million range? Yeah, when we formed STX, we had a very simple observation, which was the six major studios were making fewer but more expensive films. They were taking their resources and pushing them towards these very large franchise films, which left this interesting vacuum in the middle where you could make a movie with a star in a signature role for 20, 30, 40 million dollars and have it work really, really well. So we've sort of built a really robust slate right now. Um, we'll do about 12 movies this year. Um, all with major global stars, and it's again, as I say, it's a star in a signature role. So it's a slightly different model than what, than what the majors are doing, but we very much believe in it. Now, you also had pretty much an exclusive partnership with Huayi Brothers for distribution and all the other back end things and getting a movie out. And I interviewed uh, James Wang Zhong Lei, sure. who's the co founder of Huayi Brothers, I believe it was in March or April, and he said he wants to re sign or renew and expand. And that agreement, a three year agreement, expires next year. Are you in the negotiations now? Mm, yeah, look, they, the Huayi Brothers. Brothers have been spectacular partners, and when we formed STX, we wanted China to be part of the DNA of the company. So instead of us just being one of those companies that is trying to reach our hand into China, we wanted to bridge these two very, very large markets. I mean, ultimately, if you have both America and China, you've got about 80% of the market that matters. So when we built this, we were incubated uh, with Bill McGlashan at TPG yes. and John Zhao at Honey, Honey. Capital who's one of China's largest private equity firms. And also um, Tencent and PCCW. Or... Tencent and PCCW. So we've been really, really um, obsessed with uh, making sure that our partners are smarter than we are, more connected than we are, and make sure that we do everything right. And Huayi has been an integral part of that. So uh, I think, if anything, a lot of the success that we've had so far has been that we've had the right partners. James Wong talked about wanting to expand the partnership. How do you see that going forward? Sure. So, you know, we started with the movie division, um, but we're doing, we've got 20 some odd movies and uh, TV shows in the pipeline. We've become the biggest provider of VR content to both Google and Facebook. We're doing short form. We're doing all of this other stuff and want to get into gaming. Because what we found is that when a major globally branded star wants to connect with their audience, they want to do it across all these different platforms and in China. So it's been important that we, that we have that infrastructure in place. Now, we talked about some of those key investors. How is your fundraising for that slate of films that you want to do? Um, isn't IPO in the cards? I mean, you've talked about it. you toyed with it. How Look, far? We've got a lot of options right now. Uh, that would be a really good option. Um, not allowed to talk about that kind of stuff, but that would be a really, really good option. Ultimately, the goal is to is to have access to even more capital. Right now, we're fully funded to do everything that we need to do. But having access to capital that would allow us to expand more aggressively um, is, I think, every CEO's dream. Very quickly, do you expect, now that the negotiations are starting between China and the United States on the quotas, is it going to go up from 34 or beyond? And, I mean, all the guidance is it absolutely will. Okay. Um, so that, 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 that feels like the direction that things are moving in. Bob